Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Chris Travels with FanDrew.com. Today we have another one of our 15-minute challenge videos. Now, these are a series of videos that we do where we download an app from the Google Play Store that may be a little bit more expensive than usual, and we try to see, you know, if it has what it takes to keep us uh, pulled in and interested longer than Google Play's 15-minute return window. If it doesn't, and it turns out that it seems kind of lame, then we go ahead and return it. So uh, this is a good indication of whether or not, you know, maybe you should try downloading something that you otherwise wouldn't. The app in question is Next Launcher, and this comes from the Go Launcher dev team. So the Go Launcher guys, I'm sure you've heard of them before. They make uh, an already awesome launcher. That's I guess a traditional sense. Um, and they make tons and tons of replacement apps for a lot of the stock stock apps found in Android. So in a sense, you can eventually, if you essentially downloaded every single Go Launcher app, you could almost have, uh, I would call it like a Go Launcher UI. I just got a notification here. Um, because, I mean, they replace so many of the apps here. So this one uh, is a little bit crazy. It's $16. Now, the price is way up there. The only other app I know that's about that price for a launcher is the TSF Shell which I downloaded. Uh, it was like this Chinese launcher and it was absolutely insane and it reminded me a lot of, you know, like Tat UI from some of the old G1 YouTube videos from back in the day, but um, that one was really cool and it was different enough to where I actually liked it and I used it for a while like on my Galaxy Note back in the day, but um, didn't really fit very well on smaller screens, so I haven't really had the chance to really uh, re-download it, but next launcher is coming in hot. They mimic a lot of the functionality on TSF Shell. It actually looks very very similar so we're gonna give it a try let me go ahead and start the the clock here and I'm gonna start it at 10 minutes okay um and uh, this should give me at least a five minute buffer wait 10 seconds wait stop 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 timer you're drunk timer go home All right, let's delete that one 10 minutes okay wait hours minute ah for the love of God. Ten. Oh yeah, ten minutes. Okay, let's start it. Okay, there we go. So hopefully that beeps before I'm done. I mean, I guess I can watch the clock on the video too. And let's uh, download this big <laughs> bad boy. Sweet Jeebus, $16, huh? Absolutely nuts. Alright, so let's go in. Let's be hanging out here. Talking to you guys about whatever. Um, so just from the video, it looks it looks a little ghetto fabulous. I mean, it's covered in like glossy, glassy, weird stuff. The icons look like something from Fast and the Furious. I mean, I was fully expecting like to flip a screen and see Vin Diesel just drive up in a Toyota Supra or something. It was it's not doesn't really look like my cup of tea. It's not very minimal. I'm sure if they do implement some type of theming apps or you know third-party theming, it can get, uh, maybe they'll make a ice cream, oh god, those icons, oh jeez. Okay, so here it is, I, I like the wallpaper, it looks cool. Um, and then you just swipe here, it leaves a little trail there. Definitely very smooth, definitely not hollow UI, or holo UI, hollow, holo. Whoa! Whoa, okay, that's crazy. So there's a lot of eye candy as far as animations go. Um, oh my gosh, what's going on here? Not your traditional launcher. So they have a ton of stuff. I guess this is for reorganizing and creating folders in the app drawer. This will go to your downloads. What the sweet mother of pearl is going on here? Oh, wow. Well, it's buttery smooth. I'll give them that. But it's so different from... Just what you're used to in a normal launcher that, I mean, you'll have to get used to it all over again. Relearn Android launchers. I just relearned this. Ugh, weird. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get excited over strange things like this. I kind of like, I mean, I like the way that it's got these weird little things going on here. So this is like the traditional Go Launcher stuff here. So you can see you have widgets. What kind of widgets they got here? You probably have to re-download some of those from System Widget Loading. Gosh, takes a while. Assistive Light. Let's put something fun down. Uh, clock. Funky Clock? What am I... Can I move it from here? Can I... Okay. 
Okay, I don't... Whoa, 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 whoa. You got this neon glass, little preview things there. Um, switches. Oh, these will take you to the download, and you can download some of the switches, which look a little bit crazy, too. Oh, and you get them, and... Whoa, this is weird. Okay. I mean, you can tell I'm already having trouble with this. Uh, always, I guess. Okay. Um... Let's check out some of the animations and stuff. So we'll go to preferences, launcher preferences, visual settings, you have background, screen indicator, which is really ugly, auto hide it because I don't like that thing showing. Screen settings, hide status bar, we'll leave that scroll screens called circularly. Screen transition speed. Quick, let's speed that up. Quick. Icon reference line. Is that for the bottom area? Effect settings, this will be the cool transition, so there's random. Let's go ahead and go random and we'll just flip through them and you can see some weird stuff going on. Oh, so that's just like a little flip. Um, whoa, that one's zoom in, that one came from the... Well, it's really smooth. I mean, the thing that kind of sucks about it is because if it wasn't so ugly, I mean, I would even maybe consider giving this a download. Um, this is so strange. What does this stuff do down here? Oh, this just lets you preview it in different ways. Um, that's kind of cool. And this is just side to side. Which reminds me of a traditional go launcher. This is some weird, weirdish. Alright, let's see what other preferences there were. Gesture settings, effects, that's what we already looked at, right? In the app drawer. Oh, so you have effects upon effects. So the actor has a bunch of effects too, which is kind of cool. I don't want to mess with that. Let's go into gesture settings. Oh, let's you just pull up or pull down to pull down notifications. Double finger. Function application shortcuts. Eh, same old, same old. Backup restore. And it seems like it's kind of it. So it's not as crazy and weird as I thought it was going to be. Um, editing. See so to move stuff around. Whoa! This is kind of neat. I mean, it's a lot of flash. It's not going to be for everyone. It's definitely not minimal any in any sense of the word. Uh, it's kind of weird. Let's make a folder. Is that a is that a folder? Is I just? Whoa! What the heck, YouTube? What's going on, YouTube? Oh, maybe I push something. Oh, that's the Play Store. So how do I... How do you make folders? Make a folder? Uh, make a folder there, buddy? Edits, just what we've already seen. Um, the video showed some crazy cool stuff. How do I... I just drag it up there and it deletes. That was kind of a cool animation, too. Uh, let's see some of the wallpapers, which I thought were kind of cool. Next, live wallpapers for the next... Oh, this is that honeycomb one that they showed in the video. Oh, yeah, download that one too. I wonder if this can be installed on a regular launcher without the next launcher. Because that would be cool. I'm going to install it. Okay, go back. Uh, wallpaper edit settings. Feedback. Um, widgets. Yeah, I guess that's all there is to it. Individual, coming soon. Applications, folder. What the heck, man? Oh, how much time am I running here? Okay, we're getting a little bit... What is... Whoa, so you flip the dock and then it lets you do whatever you want to do. Can you go side to side? No. Okay, that's... Browser. That's just your browser. Home goes back. Can't really see the effects because I don't have too many icons anymore, but... Oh, uh, gosh. So strange. That's just your after settings. Okay, well... Let's put the live wallpaper on. Maybe we can see that before we have to leave. Wallpaper... Live wallpapers... Yes. It seems like it'll let you choose it. And then when you swipe and stuff, the little things, little honeycomb things light up, which is cool. 
Home screen. Woo! See that? Wee! Wee! Woo! Okay, that is a sick live wallpaper, but um, nothing really too innovative or too funky and cool and neato. There's a way to group stuff, but I don't know how to get that going. Um, hmm. Maybe I should have figured this out beforehand. I feel like a total doofus right now. Okay, so it seems like all there is for now. Oh, I like that. It's like sense. Okay, so the UI is kind of ugly, so until they release themes, I don't think I'm going to keep this. Uh, I'll keep an eye on it, but 16 bucks is kind of asking for a lot when you can have a fully functional launcher for free or maybe like $4 for a donate version like Nova, which is my current favorite. This guy is definitely going to get un uninstalled. I don't know why my alarm clock didn't notify me. How much time do I got? Oh, one minute remaining. Okay, that's cool. I don't think I'm going to keep it. We'll keep that live wallpaper though, so with that... This is not gonna... I don't see anything that warrants a $16 purchase here unless you uh, are a rapper and you live in a mansion or something. This is this is dumb. Okay, so I'm gonna uninstall in. Uh, with that, I am Chris Chavez with Fandroid.com. The new Next Launcher didn't exactly have what it took to... to uh, any stain, <laughs> stain power. Uh, where is this thing? My time's gonna run out. Uh, so yeah, um, that's it. That's the next launcher from the Go Launcher dev team. If you want to check it out, you can at least watch the video where they show you how to do a bunch of weird, crazy stuff like the next switch widgets and all that. And then you could even place icons in certain directions. Uh, let's see if I can maybe do that. I feel like a total doofus just fumbling around with stuff. Yeah, see, you use multi-touch and then you can kind of place your icon however you want. Uh, very reminiscent of TSF Shell. Oh, sweet Jesus. This is weird. Okay, so. <laughs> Next launcher. I'm Chris Thank you guys for watching. Ah! Uninstall! Uninstall!